Hi, I'm JB Friday, Extension Forester with the University of Hawaii. We're here on another virtual field day on Koa. We're here at Keoho Ranch on the Big Island of Hawaii, and we're here to talk about Koa reforestation, in particular, pruning and singling young Koa trees to improve their form. With me is Nick Koch of Forest Solutions. Forest Solutions is the management company that's doing the reforestation for Kamehameha schools on this area. This ranch was pastured for many decades um, until recently. You can see there's a, a thick mat of kukuyu grass on the ground. The grass stops any trees from being able to regenerate naturally here, even though you can see in the background there are some native ohia and koa trees here. Um, but the strategy here is for planting. Forest Solutions has been working here a number of years in replanting, starting out with koa. They'll be followed up by other native species, and the long-term vision for the ranch is to restore a native forest. So what are we looking at here? What's about this tree? This tree is uh, what we commonly see in uh, koa plantings in the open, open areas where we have a very open spread crown, mm -hmm. a lot of wide uh, and very large branches from right from the bottom of the tree. Um, it presents challenges for processing the wood later on, mm -hmm. and so it's not a particularly sought after uh, form uh, for trees grown in plantations. In the process of singling, what we are trying to do is reduce the chances of this kind of a tree occurring in the field. So we are trying to uh, coax, say, a tree that is almost straight into a straighter position, of avoiding this type of a tree. Okay, good. And how old is this tree? This tree is currently four years old. Nick, when you say you're singling, um, does that mean you're just pruning the multiple terminals off, or are you also pruning side branches? Okay, the only time we prune a branch is when it's competing with the terminal leader. So, of course, if there's a fork top, then you have two forks, both competing, you cut one of those. Um, if you have a, a root sucker coming up, you cut one of those. They're going to compete with the leader. But side branches we generally leave alone unless they're becoming dominant in some way. Oh, okay. So Nick, this tree looks pretty good. Can you explain what you've done here? Yeah, here we, we've singled this tree a total of four times. Once when it was four or five months of age, um, then a second time, then a third time, then a fourth time. Um, beyond which the reach is too, it's too far and it becomes uh, not cost effective. Um, the objective here is to increase the chances of getting a straight bowl and ending up with a merchantable tree at the end of the rotation. So here this tree goes up uh, about nine feet before its first branch, so eventually it'll have a good harvestable eight foot log from this. Yeah, and that's the intent. We, we, we want at least an eight foot log out of every tree, that's, that's the objective. Of course, not every tree is going to yield that, but at least increase the chances of that occurring. So Nick, what are we looking at here? Here we're looking at a koa that has lost apical dominance. Uh, the tip of the tree here has been killed back, probably by a koa psyllid, mm -hmm. um, possibly by uh, koa rust or a combination thereof, most likely psyllid. Um, and it, what happened after that was that these other branches took over apical dominance, and even this one in the back, mm -hmm. and started growing up around it. Um, and then we end up with what we euphemistically call in forestry an uh, apple tree. Mm. So what's this tree going to look like in 20 years? In 20 years this tree will be a little bit bigger. Probably one or two of these branches will have sheared off oh, so. and broken mm -hmm. along the, the shear line here because this, this angle is not good. Um, and possibly this, this main bowl will be larger and possibly worth something, but definitely not worth as much as if it was a straight uh, growing tree. Yeah, this tree is one year old. It lost apical dominance sometime in the early spring, and as a result we have now three stems, one in the back here you can't see, uh, emerging from the main, the main bowl. Um, in order to try to correct this, we will remove two of these branches. Here we see a young seedling infected with koa rust. Koa rust is a native pathogen occurring on a native tree, so ecologically it's not a problem. But in terms of growing straight trees, it is a problem because it kills the terminal eater. The seedlings then grow up to be multi-stemmed or forked trees. This tree is one year old. It has been affected by either drought or psyllids or a combination thereof. The result is adventitious shoots again from the base. This is very common in koa. We need to eliminate these in order to keep good form. So Nick, here we have a tree that's already developed a, a real fork here. Um, so what would you do with this? This tree is two years old. Um, in this case we have uh, the main leader and a competing branch. Okay, this one. So um, in this case we would clip the competing branch 
Um, it's often a judgment call when you determine which one is the leader and which one is the mm -hmm. branch because um, they're almost the same size. So the competing leader is often the one that goes off at an angle from the main stem. So again, we're trying to think of long-term wood production from so this you, tree. So if you didn't prune this, this would probably develop a big fork right here. Definitely would develop a fork. This is a strong uh, bifurcation in the tree. And can you cut something this big and still have it be healthy? Uh, this is the about the limit where I would enter and cut this tree. Uh, I would note that this is a small stem at this point, so any damage to the interior wood of this tree is constrained to the middle or pith of the tree um, and not to the outer uh, diameters. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. I am sticking to outside of the branch collar and supporting the branch so that it does not tear the bark. There we go. And she's off and Pretty running. Pretty easy. Here we have another older tree, two years old. We've got one main dominant leader at this point and another side uh, leader coming off at 90 degrees from the main stem. There was at one time a dominant mid-leader mid that got killed probably due to a psyllid attack uh, earlier in its life. At this point, we, the best thing to do is remove the side branch. Um, there's no guarantee this will result in a perfect tree, but it's the best thing we can do for this tree at this time. Again, we're supporting the branch cutting outside of the branch collar. When you prune a tree, you want to leave the branch collar. So on a branch like this, this tissue here is really tissue that belongs to the stem. You don't want to injure that. You want to prune the branch just about there, not injuring the branch collar, removing the entire branch. You don't want to leave a stub because a stub will carry infection. So on this branch, we would want to clip it right about there. So Nick, here we have a tree with a fairly large lateral branch. Can I just take a saw and prune this off? Will that work? I would advise against it. The tree is too large and the branch is mm. too large. We'd induce mm. heart rot in this tree. It's just not worth it. This shows a branch that was cut about six months ago. You can see how the cut was made outside of the branch collar. The wound wood around the branch collar is growing in a healthy manner. Soon it will scar over. This will always be a defect in the interior of the log, but it should be able to allow the tree to grow healthily after this. Here we can see a branch which was cut after it was too large and the branch collar was injured. Here we can see that the injury has gone into the heart wood of the tree and so rot is developing down in the center of the tree. Oh, these look nicer. So here we are in an older stand. Nick, how old are these trees here? These trees are three years old. So they were planted in 2007. Um, they have been singled a total of four times. Um, we are no longer singling in this area. Actually, we haven't singled for the last two years. So year and a half, two, actually maybe a year and a half is, is where we stopped singling. And any more pruning on these? No more pruning. Uh, the branches are too old and uh, the stems are too mature to be pruning in here. Okay. This tree is growing under partial shade from older ohia trees. One half of it has more shade than the other. Also, one half of it has less branches, the shady side, than the one that has more light. This is very common in most trees. You have more branches where there's more light. We can also do that through pruning. However, having shade helps enhance the natural self-pruning of a tree.